Uh, well, I'm on my way down to Mr. Bill's house. I just gave him his wake-up call. Uh, we're gonna work on his motorcycle a little bit uh, today. I'll catch you up on uh, any of the work that he's did since I last was down there. I think last time we were down there, we had just taken off the radiator and the valve covers and the exhaust pipes. We we're staring at the cam and the cam chain and the, and the clutch. And we'll see how far he's got since then and uh, what we're going to do today. It's a little windish out here today. Uh, I might have took, should have took the car today. We'll see. We're going to catch up with Mr. Bill from where he left off. And um, looks like he's got the head removed here. And the cams, cam cam chain is gone, and the clutch is out. So the cam the cam chain is what they call stretched. Um, the pins have worn between a, between 23 links. It's supposed to be no more than 147, and I've got 149. So if you do that, 23 links on 170 uh, link chain, that's basically seven times. So so about uh, 14 millimeters, this chain has stretched. So it has to be replaced. Um, so Neville, what you're replacing it with? Neville Lush is going to make me one and send it to me. Uh, it'll be even, uh, it'll be about four or five times stronger than this chain, he said. Those chains that they used to replace uh, for this Rocket 3, they used to pull barges down in Australia. <laughs> So Neville asked me to do a leak test on the valve, so he told me to pour gasoline into each one and see if it, if it leaks through. So that's what we're going to do, see, see how uh, clean and tight our, seals, our seats are. All right. Okay. All right, let's try number two. Mm. Now this one I suspect might leak. Anything so far? Sweet. Well, Mr. Bill uh, finished his leak gasoline leak test, and another. None of them uh, leaked on the intake or the exhaust. Are you happy with that, Mr. Bill? Yes, that's that's good to see. And uh, we'll take it to the next step when the valve uh, spring when the valve when the valve spring compressing tool gets here today. Okay. The uh, noise you hear in the background is Mr. Bill's new bike. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, folks. By the way, timber! Oh, you gotta put it back up. You didn't yell timber. <laughs> hey, you broke my tree! Well, uh, Mr. Bill's next task here is to remove the bolts on the bottom of the engine so he can get to the rod caps. Take those off, then he's going to take the pistons out of the top. <laughs> Mr. Bill is uh, taking the bolts out in the sides, both sides. Now he's just trying to break loose the uh, the, the bottom here. The, the ones on the front and, and back are loosened. Yeah. He's prepared for an Exxon Valdez scenario. But so far, <laughs> it doesn't look like he's moving. <laughs> oh, I think there's some extra bolts right here. Oh, the old extra bolts routine. Like yes, uh, I believe there's 
a couple in the bottom here, if I remember from reading now. Yeah, that reading yep, is... right here and right here. Reading is fundamental, Mr. Bill. Yes, it is. All right. Three volts lighter. All right, let's see what happens. All right, Nigel, we got it. The pan is loose. All right. <clears throat> Well, the belly pan is off. And there's more to remove. Okay, we've got the... Uh Cap off and cylinder number one, uh, cylinder number one and the pistons coming up. There it is. Get Joel, I got it. At the clouds, I'm uh, heading towards the house. Time to go home.